Please for help from the crowd. Three, two, one, go! All right, let's see what we get in Link's house. It is a 300 rupee start. Nothing to do on the tracker. So I am the axe man. I am running the tracker. I am commentating this race so that these guys can concentrate on playing. Uh, oh, we read the sign here. I didn't mean to, okay? <laughs> I didn't know what that said. <laughs> and that didn't do what I wanted anyway. No! <laughs> Go away. So we have both runners heading into the um, the uncle area here, um, and that's probably because this is a uncle uh, guaranteed sword seed. So they both want their sword. And then <laughs> we've got another chest here. Hey. All right. So let me make sure I keep on the tracker here. Rupees. If I can get now, a little less of my own game on the end. On crowd control, you guys can go in there and you can do some interesting stuff to these guys. Um, you can, you know, give them rupees if you're feeling charitable, or you could possibly cause a chicken storm. What will you do with Somehow this power? I keep gaining rupees, and, and you guys are very generous to me. I see how it is. I know. Why are you preferring that? Anyway, so we've got a divergence here. We've got. Uh, we've got Dwango uh, noping out of Hyrule Castle while Media's going to go in, go ahead and uh, see what's down here. Drop something. Also, there was a mic there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Dwango heading straight for Kakariko, the most item-dense place uh, in the game, and one that you can get pretty much everything right from the start. So let's see what he gets. Yeah, it's hard to say what you might Check. get. There's a lot of chests here, and... I don't and know the, what I'm the first find. Triforce piece, Media Magnet, strikes first. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> the Pearl. Orb. And we've got some powder. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll risk it. And the bombs. Now, early on, one thing to look at is, do these runners have bombs when they need them? If you uh, get to a spot where you've got to bomb a wall and you don't have any, um, it can be kind of bad. You've got to backtrack, and can you remember where you missed that spot? Hmm. So, so far, uh, Dwango, with only one bomb that he lost, that he had to use, um, Media found some bombs. Now he finds some arrows. So far, the Hyrule Castle play not paying off for him. I had bombs. Someone noticed them. Of course, if you were so charitably inclined, you could give these guys some bombs, or you could take them away. With crowd control, there's uh, a lot you can do here. Oop, I'm going to go this way. So Media, down in the back of uh, to Zelda's cell. Let's see what oh, she's got for oh, us. Oh, I see what happened. Meanwhile, Dwango went to buy bombs, and... Uh, no, I didn't, because I forgot to. But they... I, it looked like he was going to buy bombs, but yeah, I guess it seems he forgot. I forgot to. My controls have been inverted. And we have a ring, a boomerang. <laughs> Luckily, we have a gener some generous folks in the crowd giving Dwango the bombs, but he leaves before using uh, them. No, I left. I didn't see him in time. You're, this crowd is very, very generous to me. So I gotta go back in. So on Media's side, still nothing, uh, still nothing that we got from uh, the Hyrule Castle play. He's gonna take his trip to Kakariko. Let's see what he finds. And a heart. So three hearts. Um, do you think these guys need a lot of hearts? Are you gonna <laughs> try to get them to take them away from us? I don't know. That would be very mean. That would be very mean. So I'm going to get ice physics next for that, aren't I? What are going going to bomb the hut. Let's see what he gets here. Well, I got the chicken in the wall. Meanwhile, Media Magnet going into the Lost Woods first. Let's see what he finds. And Dwango gets his first Triforce piece. Remember, there's 30 total, and they need 20 of them. So whoever uh, gets the 21st wins. 
Now those uh, 20 out of 30 um, Triforce pieces, generally you're going to have to work your way through a pretty good portion of the game to get to 20 Triforce pieces. Um, 20 Triforce pieces, you're going to have to get to the Dark World, so it's not like we're just going to be able to find all these pieces in Kakariko or the Light World. You're going to have to find a few key items too, besides just the Triforce pieces. So we're not looking for just Triforce oh no. pieces. They're the gold. Oh no. Oh no. Media Magnate unleashing the fury of, um, it looks like some Marin heads there. <laughs> Duengo checking the race game, seeing something good. He goes back to get in there. <laughs> oh no, my, all my controls are backwards. Oh no. One of the things that you can do uh, to these runners, most interestingly, is to reverse their controls. So up becomes down, left becomes right, maybe A becomes B, and we have more chickens. Why are you getting all the chickens? <laughs> and Duengo has to make it through this race game in a limited amount of time, or else he won't get his Triforce piece here. Luckily, he makes it. Luckily, you didn't re reverse the directions. That would have made it much harder. <laughs> You know, you're just setting yourself up for that next. You know? I know I am. So we have two Triforce pieces now for Duango, an early lead, but things can change Horrible. very quickly here. <laughs> a few, qu a few uh, good checks, and uh, one runner can easily uh, come back. One, th uh, one really interesting thing about Triforce Hunt is you never really know what you're going to get. You can um, come back very quickly from a... Uh, you're on a microphone again. From a deficit. So we find the shovel. So Duango, taking a page out, heading back down to the, um, to the swamp area. to the mini Moldorm cave. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> I always do that. I always get hurt. <laughs> so the mini Moldorm cave, um, you can beat these guys with just bombs, and so you don't necessarily need to have a sword or anything, but it's a little easier if you've got the sword. I realize I just got select and... I'll take that. controls messed up. <laughs> a very useful fairy. So let's see what we've got here. We've got five checks, a Triforce piece, another Triforce piece, a piece of heart, the hook shot. Do I need to pause? No, no, just a uh, quick. So I, I continues missed, on. I messed up my control bindings. You're fine. Well, that's okay. I'm going to do this really slow. I'm just going to wander tech around trouble. while you're... I'm going to derp while you're doing whatever you do. Ah! Okay. Oh! I'm going to get attacked by chickens while you do whatever it is you do. Sounds perfect. Here, attack Whoa, them. Oh, here comes the chickens again. Holy lag frame, Batman. <laughs> ah! Oh. chickens or uh, Marin heads or whatever are there's a lot of them and they come at you <laughs> Duango thought he was safe but the chickens continued their onslaught oh no those guys will he be able to make it into this cave before taking an unfortunate death Whew. he makes it <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the Ice Rod Cave has for us today. The Blue Boomerang! And that's both boomerangs for Duango. Unfortunately, getting that collection together does not really get you anything. Not really. No. There's no prize for having both boomerangs. The uh, satisfaction of completing everything. The completionist. Do you guys have a favorite boomerang preference? Red or blue? Red. Hook 
Okay, I think that was the last of the chickens. <laughs> it's never the last of the chickens. There's always more chickens when my moderators are involved. On my normal stream, if you've never been here before, it's pretty common for moderators to attack me with anything they like. Uh, what the, I don't Let's have see if Dwayne can get this clip. He's not going for it. I could have, but oh, I accept I did. I missed a button press there. <laughs> I always mess that up. That's okay. We'll go here first. There is a way to do this in one shot, and it's almost worth going back for it. Well, I'll take that. Ooh, and we have a bottle. Oh, you can't do that. So here's what you're supposed to do. No! Uh. Okay, that's not what you're supposed to do. If you push the block and then use your hook shot, you can clip into it and pick up that chest. Then you can get the back chest. Just like this. And then you can yeah. get to here. And then you don't have to worry about uh, having to go in there twice. It saves a ton of time when you do it right. Which I clearly didn't. You know what? I don't have chickens attacking me right now, so I'm going to go do this. Send some chickens out now. He's talking about not having them. I mean, you can. It's for charity. I'll take it. <laughs> And remember, you're benefiting Child's Play, a wonderful and I'm sorry, a wonderful charity that helps children in hospitals make the best of it. Having been in a hospital as a child, I can tell you, it's worth it. So Dwango looks like he's setting up a fake flipper. Well, glitch. yeah, if I stop messing it up, I, I would be setting it up. Get this. You have to stop one pixel away from the edge of the screen. Oops. And Which is harder you... than it sounds when my screen is a lot muddier than it normally would be. There's some interesting setups here. Yeah, except I'm not doing it very well. We Mao Media Magnet checking out Sahas Rallo's closet. We've got groupies. Sarsha Harla Harla. A Triforce piece. Dwango gets his uh, his uh, fake flipper set up. Oh, oh. oh no! So, oh, no. one of the risks in the fake flippers is that if you get hit by any projectiles um, or anything in the water, you will die immediately. Insta death. Um, now, apparently in the original game, Link to the Past, this was a soft lock situation. But the developers of um, the developers of the randomizer decided let's not patch the um, let's not patch the fake flippers glitch. That that's sort of fun. Instead, we'll just make it so that you die in one hit. Just as a little penalty here for trying to use this glitch, which you don't need to. Um, the logic ensures that everything is reachable without the fake flippers. Meanwhile, Media Magnet checking out Eastern Palace. There are three items here um, among the chests, and some of the chests will also have things like the map or the compass. But we find a Triforce piece paying, so this Eastern Palace dip paying off. Now, he is not able to finish the Eastern, finish Eastern Palace here because um, what's required is the, uh, the bow to beat, uh, actually to reach the boss, you have to get the bow. Um, and so he doesn't have that. He won't be able to beat it, but he also doesn't have the lamp, which is tricky to get through the dark rooms. These first dark rooms, not so bad. The second dark rooms, they're also doable. It takes a little practice. Let's see if Duango reaches. Oh! <laughs> and he takes another unfortunate oh, death no. to the fake flipper's instant damage. <laughs> Do I go for a third time? Do I try again? Hey, third time's the charm. Third and time's the charm. You know, one of the things you can do in uh, crowd control is just cause an instant death to one of our runners here. So, you know, if you're not seeing, if you don't think Duango's dying enough, you can always, uh, you know, you can always bring that out. So mean. <laughs> <laughs> and Duango looks like he's going to test his luck one more time. He's committed to this fake flipper I'm committed glitch. now. I mean, you got to see it through. Now, the, when you uh, defeat a stunned enemy in A Link to the Past randomizer, you're going to get a certain item. And it's always going to be the same item when the enemy is stunned. And so we see Dwango using the hook shot to stun an enemy, kill it, it dropping a heart. So now Dwango knows that any enemy that he kills that's stunned will drop a heart. Media Magnet getting another Triforce piece. 
in Eastern Palace here, really paying off here. On the other hand, Dwango losing a little ground. Media Magnet now ahead by six to four Triforce pieces. Yep, yep he's definitely ahead. My Gambit is probably not going to pay. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. There we go. I'm going to so, do this. The fake flippers glitch um, lets you reach, you can see the island, so you get information, but you can't reach that item. Um, you can get to the hobo, who has an item for you, and you can go to the waterfall here. Now, you can go into do the that. waterfall uh, doing this uh, water walking glitch if you have the moon pearl, which both runners do. So you they're able need, to do uh, this. Tight, you also need power glove, though. For water walking. And now, finally, a payoff. Dwango gets the bow. I'm going to go peek. Well, Dwango, Dwango is close to being able to get the rupees necessary for Zora. However, the stun prize being the heart, if he stuns enemies and then kills them, he won't get any rupees from them. In order to get rupees, he has to kill the enemies without stunning them. And even then, it's random. No. Let me see what the ledge is. A uh, Triforce piece on the Zora ledge. Ooh. Meanwhile, Media Magnet reaching the last chest in Eastern Palace. Let's see what we get. I'd recommend bringing my audio down for a bit. <laughs> what? What was that? Media Magnet opting not to do the uh, the damage boost glitch or the damage boost technique. Instead, getting the chest normally, and it is the mushroom. I know we're all dying to see what that's going to lead to. Meanwhile, Dwango trying to kill some of these um, some of these Zoras, trying to get enough money. He needs 11 more rupees, and there would be an easier way. There's an easier way. And There's you know an what easier that way. Is? There is. If some generous soul donated 11 rupees to Dwango so that he can pay Zora. He would be able to move on and possibly have a chance at coming back here. That would be nice. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh man, that didn't work. Media Magnet going straight to the witch's house. Oh, Gonna cash man. in that mushroom. Let's see what we get. Dang it. So to get, to get this trade in, you have to give the mushroom to the witch, you have to transfer screens, and Dwango has his money for Zora. Oh, almost. 496. Oh, so the, you know, Ooh. crowd control giveth, and it taketh away. Someone, someone giveth, and someone <laughs> took away. No, we're, we're very close. Maybe if Dwango uh, gets real close to Zora here. 90, 497, 490, 501, okay, all right, all right, all right. Now I have okay. to get there before someone in crowd control takes it away. <laughs> I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I made it! Zora! If it's life lessons, I'm gonna be so irritated. Ugh. A heart. Thank you, Zora. All Meanwhile, right. Media Magnet heading down to the South Shore. Oh, he's gonna hit the um He's gonna hit the Sunken Palace first. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So we are definitely taking requests for songs, because he's rocking this. Dom is doing an absolutely fantastic job. For the audience that's here, can I get a round of applause for Dom? I wonder if he knows the Ballad of the Windfish. Yeah? Ballad of the Windfish? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Always a good one. Could you hum that? I'm trying to remember it. Uh, he wants you to hum it. Palette of the Windfish. I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's from Link's Awakening. I just drove. I can do. I can do Telltale Heights. That's that's even better. Okay, that's, let me do yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, so we have the runners going back through uh, places where they visited. If, if there's any donations, this would be a great time.
lifting up his hook shot. That wasn't necessarily the most efficient way of doing it. No media magnet go for the fake lifters as well. So I missed this in practice. I totally walked the wrong way in this section. <laughs> See if I can get the pattern right this time, two rooms from here. Close enough, that's not quite right. But Triggering the skeletons prematurely. You, do you want to explain what that room was? So in the Stalfos room, um, you can defeat the Stalfos a little closer to your mouth. before they... Um, we can't quite hear you. Yeah, you, so you can defeat the Stalfos before they appear and uh, <laughs> get a little uh, shortcut there. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> joke's on you, I had a fairy. Media man cashing in his, his fairy here. Um, what's uh -oh. that? Uh, what was that? It looks like a fairy revival when he's water walking. That goes badly. Duango navigating the dark rooms. I made a mistake. <laughs> Media Magma turning in his shovel. All right, that's better. Oh, yeah, how did I end up with that many coins? You guys are funny. Uh, I could possibly try to get around this, but I'm not going to try. Dwango also missing the damage boost strat. So there's an, uh, a quick, the, the speed run strat here is to take a little damage boost off the first enemy there and then get into the, pick up that pot with just, uh, while you're in your iframes from getting hit. If you do it fast enough, you take two hits. So Dwango has the bow. He's going to go ahead and beat Eastern Palace, or at least try. Let's see how he does oh. with the next Dark Rooms. Mm. I see. He could pick up some more fairies, oh and no. he's got the the, um, the bottle and a... Um, oh, no. My reset, and I lost things. I got that track. Uh-oh. Yeah. I died. Oh, in the yeah. dark room. It, it is kind of tricky. If you, if you, oh, but we do have a fairy. I do have a fairy, but it's really hard to, to... You're not supposed to be here, by the way. This is a sequence break in the dark rooms. So, you know, skilled players of this game are able to navigate the dark rooms, um, at least most of them. There's some dark rooms that are difficult, and you probably don't probably won't come up. And But this one... You know, if you have the fire rod, this one is not so bad. There are some lamps. You can light the lamp, and then it lights up the room. So if you have the fire rod, you can do that. But we're lacking that fire rod. Not what I was hoping for. Yeah, 
And it looks like Media Magnet lost some ground. He's going to have to get some of his items again. Yep. I lost him. Oh, okay. That's uh, okay. I lost again. That's all right. It's well, a very tricky dark room. That is a pretty dark. I'm. I'm not. I'll come back to that. There are a few different strats. <laughs> One of them is to fire your arrow at the um, at the Igor before he um, before he unstones himself. The, the arrow sticks in him, and then when he moves, you can see him move because you can see the arrow that stuck in him. Right, which I didn't quite pull off. Should have, but did not. It's a secret to everyone. Oh, interesting. Oh, right. You gotta go really far around if you're gonna do it this way. So, Dwango now caught up, and it's an even, uh, we got an even match here. Seven Strive Force pieces apiece. Oh, I don't have the lift. I don't have lift one. I can't get in. Okay. That's right. Yep, I can't get in there. So, that's okay. That was me not using a tracker, and if I had a tracker, it would have told me, thou cannot get, you cannot get E-Flask. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so we can see the tracker. These runners can't see the tracker. Um, you know, I'm commentating and running the tracker here. You know, it's actually easier than the last run I did. I had to play and commentate. <laughs> yeah, that was hard, wasn't it? Could I, I finished. Finishing, though. Right, I only no, had about time. 40 minutes of fumbling around trying to find the last item. Yeah, that happens. Okay, so Dwango, checking the, uh, the lumberjack ledge here. So in order to get this item, whatever it is, you have to beat um, Aghanim in his tower, and then you have to um, use the uh, boots and dash into that tree. The lumberjacks who are cutting off that tree will not be there after beating Aghanim. And you can dash into that tree and knock it down and you will, uh, you'll be able to get access a passageway that'll get you to that item. Dwango finding red rupees on the bush crab. So every time you pick up one of the items the bush crab drops, he'll drop another one. Ooh, I got hit after I fell in the pit. I didn't know that was possible. Oh yes, um, there's a certain, um, there's a timeout between when you actually fall in the pit and uh, when you sort of become invulnerable. Now, we, Media Magnet doing the doing the flippers, uh, the fake flippers. <laughs> and it looks like someone oh, kills no. him. Oh, but he gets a reprieve. And he gets a reprieve. Not that I'm trying to screen feed. Ooh. I don't oh, know what no. What happened? And it looks like we have another soft log. Oh, is he able to save and quit? But do you have an item? I would like to that one. I think it was a piece of heart. You think so? Yeah. But, so were you able to keep the items that you picked up in? Yeah, I, I was able to save Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah. So um, with that, medium magnets now ahead, 10 to 7. But Dwango is heading into the desert, where he will get an item here from um, Agina. And let's see what Agina has. This is a tough check to, do, to route in because it's just it's a, a little out of the way for most every other item. The crowd is uh, showing no mercy, by the way. <laughs> Tonight, are they? And <laughs> they are, they are okay, showing the no payoff. mercy. Oh, uh, man. This is out of the way. It's like there's nothing that I want here. <laughs> like Media Mag not realizing he can't pick up the rock from the bush crack because he doesn't have power gloves. I thought it was the, the bush version, not the rock for some reason. I don't know where I want to go next. I honestly don't. Dwango is starting to run out of locations. Yeah, I am. But where has Dwang where has Media Magnet gone that Dwango has not? Well, where I'm going to go next, that's where. Like there, I picked it up right this time. Uh, Dwango heading into Hyrule Palace. <laughs> L 
loving this music. Let's see, what haven't we checked yet? Have we, are we sure we've cleared everything in Kakariko? Did we get the bottle vendor's item? I know I did. Oh, yes. Oops, that was dumb. I don't know if I want to anger the Tetris gods tonight. <laughs> Transition was amazing. <laughs> and the sick kid. The sick kid has the power gloves. And that's going to be some major progression for us. It'll allow us to lift up blocks and uh, get our good stuff. Wango using the fa slightly faster sword strats on the guard here. I could have used faster strats. Uh, that didn't pay off. All right. Let's see if he heads for the dark cross, and he will not. I am not. The medium magnet taking his uh, power gloves straight to the uh, straight to the back of the escape to get the three items back here. Good play. A few quick items that you can get real easy. the hammer, blue tunic, and the mitt, and that is huge. That is really big for media. Wango probably going to make the same, uh, the same moves here. Actually, it's faster to, to do that. Yeah, we're gonna. We're not gonna walk. <laughs> oh, come on, please do walk. No. Nah. Okay. Hey guys, it's now a good time for a donation. We That's just got one. Good time for a donation. Yeah. All right. So we got a donation for ten dollars from Anonymous with a song request. He is asking Dom to rickroll everybody. <laughs> 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 All right. Dwango using his Dwango's using his sword for uh, media magnet taking a sequence break here, climbing Death Mountain. Let's see what Dwango does after picking up his uh, cache of, of goodies. Hey, Dwango. Yes? It's 6.30. Yeah. Oh, it's 6.30. Ha. But stay there. Okay. The people are watching you downstairs in the panel room. Hi, panel room. Hi, panel We're room. We're on Twitch. Whoa. How many people are currently on Twitch right now? Uh, last, well, I have no idea. I haven't checked recently. So, but if you have the mental capacity to talk a little bit about your panel, maybe do a little I bit do. of panel stuff. Oh, whoops. I, I do, except I just made a horrible mistake. <laughs> I went to the wrong place. <laughs> That's okay. 
I uh, just like, oh, wait a minute, where am I going? I am going, I am Duango AC. I am the person who owns this stream, uh, at least in theory. My moderators tend to own it more than me uh, because they tend to, tend to troll me. Thank you very much for being here on my panel talk. I'm going to talk to you all about the wonders of the history of Taskbot. Taskbot is right here on camera. You might even be able to see him. I am very happy to say that Taskbot and I have experienced some pretty incredible times together. It all started in 2014 when I was given an opportunity to go to Awesome Games Done Quick 2014 and show off some tasks. I didn't at the time even know if I could pull off full console verification, but uh, it's been pretty incredible since. Where am I going? I don't want to go here. I really, you know what? Um, I don't want to go here. I want to go here instead. <laughs> um, I am I'm headed this way since I can. Um, I gotta tell you, uh, it's been an incredible few years of being able to come to GDQ events in particular, and I'd love to tell you more about how that all happened. But first, we have to go back to Super Mario Brothers 3, all the way back in the 1980s. I, I spent a lot of time working hard to get a Nintendo. I owned a copy of Super Mario Brothers 3 that I bought myself, but I didn't have a Nintendo to play it on. And I worked really, really hard to get, I'm, I, 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 all I could do was I could smell this cartridge of Super Mario Brothers 3. I could sniff it. I could read the manual. I couldn't do anything. So what I ended up eventually doing is working really hard, pulling weeds, got myself a copy of this game. I played Super Mario Brothers 3 way more than any sane person ever should. And at the end of the day, I ended up uh, buying the game, playing it, and uh, just loving it. Just loving that game. That was my game. I played it so much. Uh, later on, about 2003, I saw a movie that just blew my mind, and I couldn't understand it at all, even remotely. It was this crazy thing where Mario was getting incredibly close to Bowser. He was getting 99 lives. He was... He was not, how many, good grief, that was ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> he was getting absolutely uh, insane luck. He wasn't taking any damage. It was the craziest, swaggiest thing I ever saw. Sorry, I added an H to that. I've been told I shouldn't do that. Um, it really blew my mind, and I couldn't understand exactly what I was looking at. But I knew there was something that was amiss, because I had played that game enough to know that the audio sounded different than that. Uh, I am going to take this route. So, I started looking into it, and uh, this, this is before YouTube, by the way. This is long before... Oh, darn. Well, that was really dumb. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to go to the right location this time. <laughs> so, um, this movie that came out, this, this Super Mario Brothers 3 movie, it just was so confusing to me uh, because I knew there had to be something going on. But this was before YouTube even existed. This was a WMV file that was spread around the internet. And ultimately, I found this website a year later called NES Videos. It was made by, Nesquit, uh, by Bizquit. And the NES Videos was made by Bizquit. And it specifically had information on how this was done inside of an emulator, laboriously, one frame, or one, in slow motion. At the time, they didn't have frame advance. Uh, all with these really, really cool tools, like being able to back up anytime you liked and save your progress. You could re do redos as many times as you'd like, and that was incredible to me because the idea of, of trying over in life seemed pretty compelling to me. Some things in life were not always so easy, and uh, being able to go back and try again and be a perfectionist and get it right was so interesting. So ultimately, that did not pay off. Oh well, life lessons. Um, <laughs> It's okay. Um, ultimately, I ended up getting really fascinated by Task Videos content, and I made my own tool assistant speedrun of something else from my childhood. I had a pinball machine I picked up called High Speed. I bought this pinball machine specifically because it was a, um, how do I say this? It was a pinball machine that I picked up uh, because of playing a game. Uh, called High Speed on the original Nintendo. It was one of the games I bought after I got Super Mario Bros. 3. I bought the pinball machine, and then I decided to make a tool-assisted speedrun of the game. I heard that. That was actually that was, that was slick. Nicely done. No, oh, I want to go this way first. So, 
I got involved in Task Videos, and um, I didn't think I would like it as much, but it was, it was a really welcoming and amazing community. Well, fast forward several years, and I ended up doing this event. I ended up doing this, um, this, uh, this Games Done Quick event. The very first one was really incredible. I had an absolute blast. We took a team of people, built a circuit board to be able to pretend to be a controller. Oh, there it is. Then we took that to the Games Done Quick 2014 event, and we showed the game Super Mario World, but not the way you would expect it. We showed Super Mario World with the most insane, crazy uh, glitch, if you will, you've ever seen. And if you haven't seen that one, you should. I'll spoil it for you, because it's hard not to talk about that one time when we, we played Pong and Snake with Mario's head. It was just <laughs> really, really incredible. And uh, that really put us on the map. We ended up in this situation where the community really responded favorably. And I think some of it was because it was something new and fresh. The media coverage was really nice. Uh, the, I'll do that. The response was really, really well. Uh, uh, I don't know, it was, just, it was just such an awesome experience. And, and it didn't really have anything to do with me in particular. I was just the guy organizing a team of people doing it. Uh, ultimately, what I think worked out the best was we were doing something for charity. And we were doing something... Oh, that, that paid off. Get out of my way. Um, sure. Uh, we were doing something that was unexpected. It's one thing to do a tool-assisted speedrun, it's another to do it on a real console, but taking it to the next level of taking over the console was something that really blew people's minds. And so we, we thought that this was a good idea to continue. More on that in a second. It wasn't always the right choice. One of the things we discovered is that at a certain point, you can only go so far with technical stuff before you end up pushing beyond what you really should be doing. Uh, we reached a point, oh, well, that's where that is. Uh, okay, the rest of the, almost all the rest of these are items. Ugh. Okay. Oh, ouch. Whoa, okay, that didn't work. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the paper version of the snake. <laughs> I was Trogdor in paper form. <laughs> uh, so we've done a lot of things at Games Done Quick events that were one-upping what we had done before. We did things like putting games inside of games. We did Mario Brothers instead of Mario World. And we did... I need a better sword. That's all I can say. I need a much better sword. <laughs> um, we did things like... Oh, we played Brain Age and we made art, and it was really fun and impressive. At least I thought it was impressive. Um, I liked it. I liked it. It's still one of the most highly rated ones out there. There's, uh, I don't know how many, three million views on that video now, something ridiculous. You guys are incredible for watching that so much, by the way. Okay, this room I really hate. Ah! Okay. Oh, yeah, it's called the Hellway. For good reason. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay. I'm in peril. <laughs> and incompetent. Let's not talk about that. Um, one of the things that happened in HDQ 2017, and if you have not seen what we did at HDQ 2017, I recommend mm, watching it. it may, maybe, maybe walking out of the room if you have to. I don't, think, don't actually want you to walk out of the room. But HDQ 2017 was so crazy. Okay, that paid. Excuse me, sorry. Oops, that was not what I meant to throw there. I meant to throw that over there. Okay. I, oh, you know what? I could actually warp out by doing another one, another thing, but that's okay. I'll do this. Um, you know what? I am gonna, now I can't death warp. I was gonna deliberately death warp to get out of here faster, but then I killed the only enemy that I had here. <laughs> Anyway, back to my talk. We, we did something in HDQ 2017 that was beyond sane. We really pushed things way further than we should have. We took Super Mario Bros. 3. We played through it, started rearranging shells in the first, uh, first level, and completely glitched the game, caused this demo scene type thing to appear. And we 
ended up playing uh, playing some pretty pretty crazy graphics on the screen. It was it was very unique. If you haven't seen it, you can show you should go watch it. I what the heck? I'll, I'll just keep going. Whoa! So I just received something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it was. I got something. Hearts. Okay, I'll take it. These guys hit hard, so I'm trying not to uh, try not to get hit by them. There we go. That's the one you don't want. You want this one. All right. I always do that one. So. We also took over Mega Man. We played the game Mega Man 1. We got into the uh, Glitch, Glitch Man level. And... Okay, I'm really hoping I don't have to fight one. Glitch Man? I think it was Glitch Man, yeah. That's not an actual one. Uh, not, not Glitch Man. What's it, what was it? Uh, okay, that was the last item I care about. Um, I think it was Ice Man. But Ice you know, every was Mega Man master is Glitch Man when Taskbot is playing. Well, that's true. No, no, uh, what was the guy? Uh, oh, he, he did the beams uh, across the bottom of the screen. Hey. Uh, by the way, how many people are watching on the stream right now? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I am seeing 640. Nice. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of people here. So I'm going to deliberately die here. I just wanted to get rid of her. Uh, yeah, I will save and quit and get out of here. Um, so I'm going to head up to a different different direction here now. I'm going to go this way. Uh, so, uh, we also took over Mega Man. Uh, we, we found a, a glitch in that stage that allowed us to take, take control of the, of the entire console and played a, we showed a screen that said Taskbot OS. It was really kind of crazy. Then we took over the game Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, the very game you see us playing right here. Let's just put it this way. Taskbot plays this game far differently than what we do. And it, it, was, it was a pretty incredible, uh, incredible go of it. Um, we, we did a lot of amazing things. <laughs> After we took over Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we showed Super N64, which of course was a thing that never existed. And then we proceeded to play the game Super Mario 64 on the Super Nintendo. And if you don't believe us, go watch it. Um, but the methods that we took to do it, we described at the end of the video, and end of the, uh, the segment, but it was so weird that it, it confused people. It really weirded people out. And they didn't know what to make of it at all. Well, that worked. Of course that was going to happen. Um, so we discovered there a, a, a minor lesson of, of our own. We, uh, we discovered that not everyone actually wants to see just technical craziness. They want to be entertained. And that's completely reasonable. But it was really sad for me in one way. On the other hand, what could we have possibly done that was more crazy than that? So. The story of Taskbot today is different than what it was then. Today, it's a story of us trying to do what we can to entertain with Taskbot through proper commentary, through showing stuff that is unexpected, not necessarily always just taking over the video game console. It's, it's fun to do that, but just taking over the video game console on its own uh, did start to wear, off, wear down on people. So the story today is, is very different. It's one where we've really come to, to, to accept that what people are really wanting to see is their childhood destroyed. Not their video game console blown up, necessarily. But their console... Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Well, fine, you just stay over there. Their console utterly wrecked. Uh, they're, they're, the, the game for their childhood... Wow, that went well. Completely destroyed. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of that. All, all right, all, uh, all right, all right, that's, uh, okay. <laughs> Dwayne takes the lead. I might, I might stop just so our commentator can say something. <laughs> Dwayne takes the lead while running a panel and playing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, media. <laughs> No, no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> I helped the lead for quite a while, so it's, it's fine that we can swap back. Um, 
this is this is pretty normal. I'm multi-crashing all the time, which is the wonderful art of messing up more than one thing at the same time. Um, I think what makes TaskBot special today is things like what we did at RPG Limit Break. We were able to, with people who are in this room even, the Axeman did a tool-assisted speedrun of Final Fantasy, and as the author of that task, he was able to provide commentary for that run at RPG Limit Break. Yes, it's an hour long, but it was an hour that gave us an opportunity to fully explain everything we needed, everything that we, we I've always wanted to explain at a Games Done Quick event and never could. And honestly, to this day, I still think it's one of the best things we've ever done. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel as one of the most popular videos, and, and, and it's, there's a reason for it. <laughs> it really is uh, oh, Final Fantasy music. Oh, I'm digging it. <laughs> it really is amazing stuff. Um, so to kind of wrap up what my rambling panel is, it's... TaskBot is more than just one person. It's, it's more than just me. It's more than just, let me see if I can get this right. Oh, no. Nope, once you do it, you're messed up. Um, did I push the wrong one? Do you, have to, do you have to push the other one? No, but you have to be right in behind one. You're kind of in the middle, and that's the problem. Uh, you can only clip through one block at a time. Oh, you can only clip through one block. Oh, OK. All right. There we go. Meanwhile, media catches up. It's an even race, 17 Ooh. each. Nice. Shiny. So, finishing off my talk, because I know there are people sitting in a panel room somewhere that need to come up here, by the way. We're upstairs in the variety area. Um, there are still some uh, some seating availability, but not many. We're kind of running out of seats, but we'll make Plenty work. of standing room. There's plenty of standing room. There's, there's all of that. Uh, there's plenty of space out in space. Um, so, uh, just to kind of wrap this panel up, the TaskBot community, especially our Discord server community, is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. And they're what has made it possible for us to, as of this date, raise over $280,000 just this year alone. It has been truly astounding what the TaskBot event content has been able to achieve. And I am so happy to be part of, of this wonderful stuff. It is a, a truly an honor, and I couldn't do it without the amazing people I have with me. If you have, oh, okay, all right, that works too. A unique item. It was a unique item. <laughs> Wango strikes back. Now he item. is ahead, 18 to 17. The end is coming near here. Ooh, as soon as one of these runners reaches, uh, reaches 20 pieces of Triforce, the game is over. This was not a good idea to go this way, by the way. <laughs> uh, do I have enough to make it? I, mm, I'm not going to make it. I could, but it'd be... Nope, it's not worth it for that item. <laughs> All right. And we're beeping again. Okay, uh, where am I going to go next? I'm going to go to Lonk's house. <laughs> Lonk. Lonk. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Do we have time for a donation? I made a mistake because... Yeah, it's a great uh, okay. time for a donation. So, finishing off my talk, thank you so much for all of the support. Come on up. If you're still in that, in that panel room, head on up to the second floor. We're going to be playing this for probably another couple seconds. Let's see what I can't have here. Yeah. Um, if we can manage it, uh, we will try to complete this this entire run in the next five to ten minutes. We only, we only have two chests to go. There's not much left. So thank you so much for being here. Do appreciate it. Come on up here. So for everyone on the stream, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm really glad that we're running at such a high number of viewers. Please keep those donations coming in for things that you want to hear being played. Are there any donations? Now that I've, now I'm going to stop talking for a while. We have a donation from It's Corey. Um, he gave a hundred dollars. Thank you very much. He says. I think that was not audible. Event. Event. You're attending in person. It's a new coming in real quiet. Shout out to the panel room. Who couldn't hear me? Oh, okay. Could you say that one more time? Oh sure. Um, we have a $100 donation from It's Corey. 
He says, watching a stream of the event you're attending in person is a new meta. Shout out to the panel room. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let, uh, let, uh, let him, uh, let the X-Men catch us up, because we've done a lot of stuff that we haven't talked about yet. So both runners in the, oh, and Media Maggot seeing a, Triforce piece on the tablet. He can't get the tablet until he has the Master Sword. You need to have the Master Sword and the book. Dwango getting the um, the swamp items. Ooh, got the mirror. Very important pickup with that mirror there. Medium Magnet going into the Tower of Hera. There are two items here. And um, if those two items are Triforce pieces, it could be very valuable. Dwango is going to see what he can get out of Desert Palace. There are two items in Desert Palace. Now, one of them is going to be on the torch. Uh, we, we saw Desert Palace from media a little while ago. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Just a reminder, crowd control is still running. And, you know, if you want to even out this match a little, we got a close match here. A few uh, chicken storms may swing it in the favor of one of these guys. I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noping out of that. I could tell that was not going to go well. Yeah, mine didn't. Never know. I didn't either. Media Mag, almost at the top of the Tower <laughs> of Hera here. Uh, Dwango realizing he couldn't get anything else out of Desert Palace. Dwango heading to the Checkerboard Cave. We call it the Checkerboard Cave because look at the array here. on pizza is a great choice. Now the telepathic hint tiles in A Link to the Past here, um, they give you hints. Um, sometimes they give you hints and sometimes they give you joke hints. Oh no. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> here, let me go back up here and then do this. <laughs> we call that a mirror bonk. Um, you might know the if you have the uh, Pegasus boots, you can run and dash, and if you hit a ball, you kind of have this bonk, and you dash back. Um, but if you mirror from the dark world to the light world, and the place where you mirror happens to be a wall in the light world, you get warped back and call that a mirror bonk. Dwango handing in his mushroom. Media Magnet going to take on Troll Dorm. Do we have any guesses how many falls we'll have? <laughs> Several. <laughs> Several. Dwango, right. very close here. 19 pieces of Triforce. So now is the time to mess with me because, as you know, we saw something earlier on a ledge. Dwango is on a ledge? within close. He remembers a spot where there's a, a Triforce piece here. So if you don't want me to win, you're going to have to work at it. And a death here would be very punishing. It takes a little while to walk out here. If someone were to chicken storm Dwango or and thereby uh, causing an unfortunate accident or... I'm within sight of my prize. Ow. Oh, I'm taking the long way down, it looks like. We'll see what crowd control decides to do today. You know what is not faster to go through that? <laughs> Ow. I'm just gonna walk. Media Maga checking out the basement here. Let's see how far he gets. Uh, okay, you 
guys only have mere seconds. And Dwango is the winner of this Triforce Hunt race. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your princess is in another castle. It said, I'm sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Nice. I'd like to thank everyone who waited patiently for the insanity that you just saw. This is quite possibly the full embodiment of everything that is Taskbot. It is over the top, it is unnecessary. There was no reason for us to have a live keyboardist. There was no reason for us to have crowd control at the same time where you guys could mess around with us. Uh, we're not done yet because he hasn't finished, so please use your crowd control money. It's going to a great cause, it's going to Child's Play. Help him finish strong. Help him with health, with vitality, with armor, with a sword upgrade. You can do a lot of things through crowd control. Your donations do go to Child's Play, which helps kids in hospitals have a much better time of it. But seriously, this is everything that makes the Taskbot uh, type content what it is. It's so over the top, and there's no good reason to do it, and we do it anyway. <laughs> uh, if you want to be part of our community, head on over to discord.task.bot. It is one of the most amazing Discord communities you'll ever set foot in, I promise. Do keep your language clean when you have kids there on occasion, but that's one of the things that makes it awesome, is we have everything. A lot of diversity, some really fun stuff. I'd like to again thank Dom for his amazing piano skills. And uh, you guys can't see this, but we have a lot of people here. Way the audience. <laughs> so I'd also like to thank the tech crew who put up with all this. We have folks running the lights, uh, not the lights so much as the, uh, the stream and the soundboard, which has been much, much more challenging than anyone thought possible. I'd like to specifically thank the Axeman, who has patiently waited here much longer in the day than his family, family probably wanted him to. But he did a fantastic job of running Chrysalis. If you didn't see that, uh, we'll make sure we get that posted later. Thank you very much for providing commentary for us. Uh, we'll, we'll, let, um, we'll let media keep going until the time, go time hits on the screen here. But an hour and two, really? Was it really an hour and two? Wow. Um, hi, I'm Duango AC. I'm, I'm Keeper of Taskbot. I don't usually speedrun, let alone win speedrun competitions. Uh, I'm not saying I'm a good speedrunner, but that wasn't bad. <laughs> All right, donations. What do you got? We have a donation from Belthazar. Um, he donated 10 bucks. Thank you very much. He says, Hey, Dom, do you know how to play the best arrangement of DuckTales? I bet Dak does. Ooh, ooh. fighting words. <laughs> I suppose I deserve that. Thank you, whoever. Thank you for whoever got me to the door with that death. That was pretty nice of you. So you, they insta killed you? <laughs> as soon as I loaded, as soon as I loaded in the sanctuary, it was dead. <laughs> but I will be getting my last piece here shortly too. Awesome. That's um, overhearing things. That helps. <laughs> Yeah, this was not exactly a blind race. Uh, we had a pretty small space here, and there wasn't really a feasible way to make the commentator be far enough away from us that we couldn't hear him. <laughs> so uh, the Axeman was just here on stage with us. Uh, I'm not saying we deliberately screen peeked, but... <laughs> well, I was going to ask you if you needed help with that um, Ball and Chain guy earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw you stuck in the corner with him. Yeah. 
I should have used a different item. I always make the silliest rookie mistakes. Throw this is the only game I really speedrun. <laughs> and even then, I, don't, I, would, I would call myself a filthy cash scrub tier, but it wasn't bad. I mean, an hour wasn't, wasn't no. terrible. By the way, this, was, this uh, rando was generated by T Sigma 6, right? This one was not generated by T Sigma no, 6. It was this not. one ended up not being a plando. We were talking about doing a plando. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, where he was going to try to find some twist where it seemed easy and it wasn't. But we decided to do a full-on random seed. This is an axe seed. The axe man generated oh, this for us. That's why it was so generous. Got it. That's why it's so generous. <laughs> well, if we let sine wave generate the seed. We'd still be here. Yes. We'd still be here in like an hour. Because somehow he always manages to figure out how to combine <laughs> Agnaham seeds with pedestal seeds. And <laughs> I don't know how he manages to do it, but he comes yeah, up with He's pretty good at making hell seeds. Oh, he's good at it. All right. Um, so stick around. This is not the end of the event. We actually have more content for you. Coming up next, unless I am mistaken, do we have the runner for Transistor? That would be Fawful. Where is Fawful? Sure we should find Fawful. because and uh, time. Yeah. Okay. And time. All right. Thank you. Four five. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh man, this has been an incredible experience. This was the first time that my stream has been featured on the Twitch front page. I wasn't expecting it necessarily to happen. Uh, thank you for the Twitch staff that helped make that happen. I won't call out names because they get enough trouble as it is, but you know who you are. Really appreciate it. Uh, really like to extend a special thanks to Dak at the MAGFest organization, MAGWest organization team. Uh, he's amazing and made this happen. Uh, we have a lot of other folks who are here, including uh, Tortoro Slayer, who helped. Uh, let's see, there's a bunch more people on staff I'm miss missing. Belthazar, who did a donation earlier, you heard that as well. Uh, this event would not have happened without them giving us space to do it. In. And, oh, uh, Fawful just sprinted out of the panel room. <laughs> okay, that might explain a few <laughs> things. There are people still watching in the panel room. That's amazing. Okay. Hi, panel room. Hi, panel room. Uh, hey, there's Fawful. Hey, there's hey, Fawful. Hey, Fawful's up next. Um, so we're going we're gonna to finish up in just a second, but we got to see the all-important time. <laughs> not that I'm... Uh, sorry, media, we might not wait that long for yours. I put mine on 400 speed because I'm in... Oh, you can. <laughs> okay, yeah, do that. You might even I've, catch up. I've already done that. Uh, total menu time, 1 minute 44. Total lag time, 5 minutes. And the all-important time is... I was sub one hour. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, before we go away, we have some requests for Dom. He's, he's going to play us out while we get set up for Transistor, if that's alright. Oh, nice. There was a Triforce piece on the pedestal. Of course the pedestal had a Triforce piece. Um, I think we're going to have the soundboard mute out our microphones, and we'll let Dom play out the requests as they come in from donations. Bring on the donations as we get set up for Transistor. Thank you so much, guys. That's I conclude this part. That's a tough act to follow, you guys. Give it up for these guys.